Welcome back guys to Xenoblade Chronicles X. So last episode, after picking up a couple more probes in Noctilum, we took on our next affinity mission with Nagi reporting for duty. With Orden's squad having been taken prisoner by Ganglim forces, we invaded their bases in Silverlum. Locating Marla at death's door as she asked us to save Orton for her, prompting us to break into the heavily defended Beta stronghold to make the rescue. After then locating the 49th Lobster, the Blood Lobster then struck, bombing Army Pizza and setting more explosives around ULA as we now continue on. And literally, like, it's like no one died. But we definitely just saw people get blown up. Question. Is that why I couldn't find any things? You said 100, but I couldn't find 100. And the rate at which we could find things petered out incredibly fast. They are well and truly gated. What was I going to do? Good, the man on ship. Let's quest here. Well, I know for a fact there wasn't a lobster there before. Alright, well. It looks like I can get lobsters again. Bombs everywhere. Once more. Is there now finally a bomb on top of the church? Well, the lobster has kicked it up a notch. I guess that means we've got to kind of check the outskirts of the ship as well as the inside of the ship. Is it going to be that easy to find them? And also, how low do I have to be to get them to spawn? Oh, what? NLA Waters discovered? Had I not discovered that yet? Well, it doesn't look like there's a lobster on top. Well, we should be able to find quite a few lobsters fairly fast-ish. Again. Well, let's go back to Nankaleg, or Nenkaleg, whatever their names are now. Well, I guess doing a quick comb of the ship for lobsters. Let's go this way first, that's the opposite way of the quest. So I've never flown out to the waters. Yeah, but you thought I might have flown there before. Yes? Like, sometimes it's surprising where I haven't been. Like, I'd have seriously thought I'd have been there before. My Sorry, How am I supposed to get up there, then? Can I jump off this? Oh, God. Now they make you want a platform. Damn it. Ah. It's the slide afterwards. Maybe I could just go straight past, nope. Cool! Cool! No one seemed terrified of that Lin person. I guess it's because she's really good cook or something? <laughs> yeah, sure. That's definitely why they're terrified. Yeah, I'm overshooting from that angle. Oh god, they had to put it like a platforming thing. Ah! Oh, I slid. Oh, I could have jumped. So sometimes I get on, sometimes I don't. But now the blood lobster is up the ante. Ah! Slide! I feel like I should jump as soon as I land, so I just go high and try to get into the corner and that'll probably hit it. Haha! 
The question is how did the blood lobster get it up there? There we go, got it. And I had to launch myself at it a little bit more. So, we have beautiful lobsters everywhere again. Great. Question is... Will some of them be higher? Will some of them be low down? Will they be on weird bits like that? So that outfitter said they found an engine nest at a place called the Ancient Warscape. Scary. Cold is so, so, so scary. It's basically unexplorable, isn't it? I mean, I'd hit it in the middle of that. So basically, uh, the blood lobster has actually had the time to go back through everything. Oh, no, you know. I saw Fog in the commercial district's ballista court earlier. Fog! He was just staring into a cafe of some kind. That's weird, right? Isn't that weird? So he found Fog's future heart to her from doing this as well. There's a strange petrified tree in the south cinder dunes in Silverham as well. Really not stuck down the back there. I mean, I guess it's great that it's not. That would be really irritating to try and find, wouldn't it? Have you presented any information about the strange gene in a tree near Nocklum's Bidding Crossing? For some reason, it makes my over frob whenever I look upon it. Is it one of those things again, is it? I haven't seen any more red markers on this side, but, you know, there's got to be more. Huh? You know? There can't really not be. Like, it makes me wonder if there's, like, someone, like, high up places like that, which would be horrible to try and find. Cool! And then stuffed away in the corners. Cool! Cool! I mean, either way, we're not really in a rush to find them. Yes? But it's nice to actually find them now that there's actually some on the board again. Yeah. Alright, picked up a fair bit of info there. Let's head deeper into the side. Let's head to Nankalig. We'll probably see a lobster hey. as we enter here is what I'd imagine. Listen. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I got it! I got it! Oh, the best platformer you've ever seen! That was all that Celeste training, you know? There's one over there. This one's just on the ground, behind the boxes. Wow, I saw that from far off, didn't I? I guess it's best to try and look when things haven't rendered in. Makes sense, doesn't it? I like how on the first wing thing I'm debombing as well is the man on shit. Let's not care about our own populace. The man on to protect them, protect all the other races. We are good. All right, Nankalek. This could fairly be described as a predicament, but what to do about it? I simply cannot understand her motives. Why would anyone intentionally travel to such a dangerous place? What's happened? My division, Nenkaleg, has left the city. Again? Bound for Noxonum, it seems. As for why she would head to a palace filled with such awful creatures, I have absolutely no idea. And yet I feel incapable of simply letting her go. I feel compelled to go forth and bring her back, but I am a poor candidate to do so. Compared to the vicious wildlife of Mira, the Orf are poor combatants indeed. Might I ask you to go after her in my stead? Sure thing. I'll get lots of Orphean statues. Sunlit Spring. That's in Noxonum. Humans are an extremely active and combative species. I say that with a deep sense of what you humans call gratitude. Oh, please take care that you are not injured. Though if you are injured somewhat in the course of escorting my division, that is acceptable. I believe you'll kind of call that a trade-off. Best of luck. That's a cold way of asking for favor, I'll accept. Statue's most generous. That is the term used when describing someone who gives of themselves for another, yes? Generous? 
I wish you luck. Please be my division back swiftly. Will do, mister. Alright, well, I've got quite a few lobsters from bumming around in here. I'm quite happy with my search for now. Let's go do the quest like we're supposed to be doing. Knock them. I thought that spring was in, uh, you know, Silver. I thought that was where the knock, uh, the caravan is. It's literally the spring of that name. Yes, I'm getting money. Got to rake it in now. What am I at? 2.5 million. Oh, my Meranium came in. Well, let me just... A... What's this? Oh, yeah. It's the level 5 thing. And the thing that looks ominously like it's a bad guy. I just wanted to fly over that bloke who I always beat up when we come this way. Come to save Nenkaleg! How are you, Nen? What's going on? You have a friend? Close now. Come on. Let me observe you. There's no cause to be afraid. Come closer. Uh, warn Nenkaleg that she's the one who should be afraid? Yes. Uh, tell Nenkaleg to run away immediately. I'll warn you. <laughs> You humans are so strange. The need for a more thorough study of Mira's ecology is plain to see. And the most expedient method of expanding that knowledge is to go in the field and interact with various organisms. Please do not concern yourself with me any further. You are interrupting my research. Feel free to return to the city. I mean... Are you a pet? You look like you need a drink. Where did she go? She's got a Queen Long Glade. What a weirdly docile thing. Not really what we're used to the things being doing, to be fair. Well, you didn't want me to kill it. I will not randomly kill it. That would make me the bad guy. It's a cute, yes, pet. Why would I want to bash that? Maybe we could tame it. It was a great idea. Now where am I off to? Watch out for things like that. I'm off to here. As long as there's no monsters wanting to jump at me anyway. I can't see. Let's get this tree. The tree made a noise. That is always one of the most worrying things to happen. Alright, those platforms with some clog ends. He is there. It's below us we want to go. Man, collects just with a... How is it taming, like, or just being pals with, like, all the aura vistas and stuff? Oops. You stepped on the germivore. Hi, humans here, killing your wildlife. What a fascinating organism. I would dearly like to procure a blood sample. But how to extract it? I should have brought a knife of some sort. You just gonna stab it, that'll do well. Okay, just stab it, give it a stabber. This is danger. I'm in danger of dying. Well then, what action can I take to avoid death? <laughs> Humans! You, you are that human. Can you do something to resolve the situation? <laughs> yes. 
must be the most reassuring expression. What? Get the butt handed to you. Let's use this move. Wee! Is that a wee? Oh, let's let's finish it off at range. Oh, oh! I have sniper skills now. They're getting close again. I didn't get to see it all. You stopped my blossom dance. I do not know whether to thank you for saving my life or criticize your violent actions. Which is appropriate? Uh, say that if Denkleg feel like criticizing you, she's free to do so. That's fair. To be honest, it's, you know, we had to do it, but, you know, we shouldn't be slaughtering things left, right, and center either, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> then you acknowledge your failings. I had thought humans incapable of that sort of self-criticism, and yet apparently some among you do possess reason. Still, had you not assisted me, the likelihood of death for this body I inhabit was 87%, so I suppose some thanks are in order. Urge Nankaleg to go home because Nankaleg is worried, or suggest that Nankaleg try more off-appropriate work in the city. Huh. Let's, let's just say that. I will concede that remaining here presents a high risk of damage to my body. I will head back for now and consider how best to study the primordial creatures in the future. You do that. Talk to Nanka Leg in the port side, the man on ship. A job done. As long as I'm allowed to go there. Oh, do I wait a little bit? You know why, right? But it's still a little bit off. Let me hear it. I haven't heard it since I've had a scale. Do it. It's still a little bit. Damn it, I can't get in the scale up. Don't tease me like this music. <laughs> That's the real problem with having a scale. It's just not hearing that. I mean, that's by far the best bit of the song as well. <laughs> one by one, one by one. Hey, see the sun. Listen. We don't can see the door now. Oh, Nick legs on the middle podium still. Ah oh, yes. Ah oh, yes. Hi Nan. And then the Nick Leg is safe then. That is a relief. Ask Nan Leg if he understands relief better than worry. Or express surprise that he remembered. <laughs> or query. If it is both the absence of worry and its own emotional state at the same time. I must say all these fluctuations in psyche are most illogical. Right a supply of center wrapper water, Nankaleg's death would present only a minor inconvenience. The orf's numbers would continue to grow just the same. Would you lonely would be gone? Lonely? What is that? Why would your absence cause me to feel lonely? Say that it's because Nankaleg is in love, or say it's because Nankaleg is a rare mutation. Observe! Love. The phenomenon of attraction is exclusive to species with distinct sexes. There's different forms of love! You already have no such distinctions, so there should be no way that I would feel. Hmm, yet I do find Nankaleg's appearance pleasing. No, 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 no. Also beautiful, as a human might say. Is this attraction then? No, 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 no. Nankaleg, am I attracted to you? Ask yourself that question. Species that experience love call people like you dense. My density is comparable to most of the city's residents. Ah, uh, wait, do you mean slow-witted then? But I am comparatively intelligent. Most strange. It is quite apparent that despite the Orphe's considerable intelligence, some things remain inscrutable. I don't understand my feelings for Nen Kaleg, but why not? Because you are naive. <laughs> I do not understand. Grant me guidance over. 
No, 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 no. Someone, give them, give them relationship lessons. Understand the other kind of loves. There's more than one loves. I mean, do they have things to smash against each other? I don't know. <laughs> and then there's the problematic thing. Now, the thing is, of course, that that kind of relationship is forbidden in our thing because of genetic defects, etc. That can occur. However, it might not be the same for the Orphi. And everyone, every species taboos are going to be different. So, especially because they don't breed via exchange of DNA as of yet. They breed via water. The hole has been dug. It has. I know. This is just, yeah. Alien species, man. I'm heading to the top. Different than us. Different sensibilities. Well, we're heading to the top, supposedly. Let's uh, let's leave this room. Well, when I saw where that was going, I was like, uh oh. I mean, if we're gonna analyze it subjectively, kind of gotta factor in these fact these things as well. Let's go see if we can find fog then. It's hard to up. We've got new things appear in the commercial district. He's literally right at the. Thing. Oh, what time is it? Oh, I can change the time when I'm there. Just view third heart heart is the requirement. Appears anytime. So this is actually getting fog back. Where is he? Hmm. There he is. Are you looking at? Who are you looking at? Tora? Go over, let him explain. Oh, hello, Alessandri Hot Dog. Okay, now I get it. I was just thinking about how good those hot dogs look and smell, I suppose. I've just been walked through. I'll buy you a hot dog, Fog. No, 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 thank you. That's a very generous offer, but. Well, my brother would be furious at me. I have a lot of anxiety issues around strangers, and my brother says I have to get comfortable doing things like talking to shopkeepers and ordering food. What are you going to do when you're 30 or 40 years old, he says? What if you still can't do this crap by yourself? I've given it a lot of thought, and while I don't think that he's necessarily wrong, it is worth noting this body is a mimi zone, so I probably just pretend to be this young for as long as I want. I was thinking that at the time, like, aging? Yeah. Uh, agree that Fog is probably right about that, yeah? <laughs> I mean, I think so. See, Zally, I'll just continue to be the same kid who can buy a hot dog by himself in the next century, or two, or whatever. Yeah, you still gotta, like, that, that way you don't get hot dogs. Jeez, it sounds kind of pathetic when I put it like that. I'm just going to muster up the courage and go buy the hot dog. Enjoy, Fog. Mustarding courage. Oh. Cool. Segment recon complete. Is that prone playing that I bash into him? It's kind of funny. Right, I could take to the sky for a second here and see if I can see any more thing. It wouldn't be surprising to instantly see some... Lobsters, but equally, I guess. If we don't see them, that's not too weird either. Oh, I have to. If I'm going thinking about like looking for lobsters, I have to go to one certain area. I have to check the cathedral. It really is easier to look for them at night. When they put 50 extra in circulation, I thought they'd be a lot of use. I, I, I thought we'd be finding them everywhere. But that doesn't seem to be the case, does it? I mean, I could just be missing things because I'm not going low and slow enough. Hmm. Let's go to the cathedral. I'd have thought I'd have found loads by just floating over, but oh well. There! There it is! Look! I knew there would be one at the cathedral. Just made no sense there wasn't one up here originally. Great success. And there's one. Right next to it. 
Nope, and a thing. Yeah. Then those strange radio waves were coming from alien debris on Cliffside Beach in Primordia. We should go check them out when we have some spare time. 58. It's been a long time since I've actually got some of these things, and now I've got loads. Loads. We're supposed to do quests though, right? Quests are what we're supposed to do. Where should we go next? That's a question. What should we do next? Where's a mission, actually? Oh, I know where there's a mission. Let's go down here. I did change my weapon types for the first time. I've got a sniper now. It had a cool attack animation. Hey. Hey. All right. Hear me out. Look for lobsters. There's a quest down here. I'm pretty sure. As in, I saw it earlier. Unless it's suddenly going to go away. That'd be funny if you did a quest and it mutually excluded another quest, which you can do. Funny, but highly irritating. Where? Listen up. How is there nothing here? No lobsters. Wang, Ada. Well, we're here for a quest. It's Laura Nora. Or Laura Mara. Are you there? Yoo hoo! Yes, you! You seem absolutely bored to death. Why not spend a little quality time with me? Say you're covered in the quality time department? Or tell Lara you are a fan of quality time. No, oh, Arena's a fan of quality time too. Oh, I do like honesty. But unfortunately, I'm not propositioning you. Not this time, anyway. But never say never! Those government mucky mucks have given me a job. And while I'm flattered to be asked for my name, I could still use a little help. You probably already heard the rumours, but talk is some team took down a huge beast yard in Silverland. Well, the big lunk's body is still just sitting there, so they want me to bring it for research and dissection and whatnot. Which brings me to my itty bitty little favour. And with that, I'll let my friend here explain the details. They hired him to do all the analysis bits. Uh, okay, you're a bit hard to live up to excitement wise, but I guess I'll try. Probably for the best I'm boring though, right? Since this next part is rather serious. Oh, rude, I was totally serious. So the aforementioned Big Lunk was apparently a massive ganglion weapon, you see. We had previously dismissed them as a band of thugs, but this is, is some fairly impressive tech. This is what I took them. And the man are not the type to let the tasty morsels like this go to waste, are we? So we've taken a proactive interest in this case, you understand. You make it sound so noble. Your little hyenas just want your turn picking the bones of the lion's kill. No, no that's not, not true. Also, what's a hyena or a lion, for that matter? Our motives are half a tireless first for scientific knowledge and half a desire to waste nothing. I think those are both noble, aren't they? It's a lovely pack of excuses, but can we get on with this? Someone's liable to snatch up our treasure if we stand around Gavin. Uh, I would if, if you'd stop interrupting me, perhaps? Anyway, moving along, all right? Initial reports suggest the engine and what we suspect is is the cockpit remain largely unharmed. But obviously, if other parts are also salvageable, then so much the better, right? In other words, we just need you to go out there and grab whatever you can. If, if that's okay with you? Anything that's completely ruined is safe to ignore. I hope I can maybe just leave that judgment to you. Examine the zoo fog's wreckage for salvage. Of course we are. Is that clear? Does it all make sense? Good, then please, please hurry. Uh, if that's all right. Walking fast is good, but maybe running would be even better. Oh, I know you won't disappoint me. I'll be waiting. Will you now? Alright, uh, any more lobs? Oh. Whee! Lobster hunt is back on until we get stuffed. Like the lobsters in the future. And get too many. And then wonder where the rest are. I can actually find the collectibles. Much fun. Are you kidding? We would have lost 21 blades to the giant tyrant of Hillel Meadow. I can barely comprehend how dangerous that thing must be. It makes my Listen. knees tremble. Sounds bad. Does sound bad. Oh. oh, no, that's not one. That's just red lights. Those are just red lights. Did I get Meranium in yet? Oh, I did. Hopefully, I haven't missed any Meranium ins. 
quest picked up. We started at 46 today, so. Got quite a few of those. Bung it in at the Knop and Compass Guild. Hundred thousand left. Oh well. You never know when you're running down the street now when you might actually just see a thing. Wow. Yes. A certain named Frost the Cordius lives in Vitral Cesspool. I wonder if the name is because it's less aggressive than other tyrants or something. The Cordius? Hmm. Maybe it bows before you fight. Alright, I'm just going over here a second not to check for lobsters. I'm... Um. Oh, it's afternoon again. <laughs> I was like, is this the same time? Is this a different time? So, yeah, she's gone. Afternoon, definitely. Mm. That is the heart to heart time. Any lobsters out here? Oops. Well, I guess I'll go to Silverland then, now that I've fallen all the way down. So three parts to pick up, and they're very spread out on the map. We're gonna go to our standard ganglion base in Silverland, down the bottom. That's where we're going first. Gotta get that drinking. Still got 9k fuel. I'm doing fine for fuel. I don't know why I'm trying to baby it so much. It's that guy we had to kill multiple times. So the first part is like here. Oh, that guy! Wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. Do you actually have to search for it still? Salvage cockpit wreckage from the zoo fog's remains. Yet yeah, nothing tried to kill me. That's always good. Off I go then. Boost! I don't mind if I land here and steal your gear, right? Still not a segment recon for this place, though. Flying around near me. I legit hate that thing. No segment recon. So our next one's a lot further up. It's actually in the water. Where is it? There he is. Well, next to level 35 at Seculars. We're going to ignore them entirely. Last segment recon. Mining Pro G4. And i got to grab the grabbies when I can. Because you never know when we might get a good probe. I might be able to put it down and make Super Bank. Or did I just miss something? Seem to be lacking enemies. I like this. Last segment recon! <laughs> yeah! Big gains. At least you can resubscribe while you're here. It's shameful narcissist. Well, thank you for popping along. Now, we're looking at ground level, of course. Yeah, it's just basically in front of big guy's face over here, which is always nice. And when they don't attack us, it's good like that. Sneak in here. Steal the wreckage. Get nicely on my way. About 
too much of an issue, but thank you very much, Shane. Thank you for the two months, sir. And let's move on upwards. Oh, God, it's this guy again. It's, uh, how far away are we? I'm just worried about the Zedon. It's quite a bit. There is, oh, hello. Girith in the old hand down there. What's my level at? 49? I need to find something to kill to get myself to 50, maybe. Don't worry about the future, it's alright. What I'm looking for here is a gathering point. It's underneath. Near that big worm. Lovely. Hopefully that worm doesn't come anywhere near here. Because this is probably our segment recon. Actually, I would know what it is. It's actually... No, never mind. I can't do this segment. It requires level 5. But 8 battle points ain't bad. Runa's devil wings as well. that so I can see where I'm going. Oh, tell a light. I was looking for the wrong thing. <laughs> Good guess. Uh, what are you two guys doing here? All information and not aggro in me is kind of nice to be fair, but Just taking all the goodies. Not segment recon. Nice play of battle points that I've been getting though. It's a segment recon for this area involving gathering as well. No rest for the wicked. Got a little close. These guys follow for our miles as well, which sucks. And I don't think... I don't think, but I'm not sure. If we're being chased, I can't see where the things on the ground are. So that's a bit of a bummer. Like, where is he? I know it's here. I can hear it. I'm so glad. And I have... My head's... Uh? <laughs> You're allowed to pass this time. Molly Bredenum Zedum. This time. I'll come for you in the future, you get. There's one under here. And one on top of here. I'm not even going for the thing anymore. I'm just taking everything. Segment recon! I already got that. Oh no, that's not a thing. Yeah. Shh. He'll never notice. Where's the Bendesium Zedum? What, so I can use an explosion on it? Be great. Remember those old days of the stream where we used to have uh, Thingy on? Oh god, I've forgotten a name. That makes me evil. Explosion! Alright, let's go to where I'm supposed to be going ish. He says, but then I see this over here. Right, there's another goodie down here. That's weird because it's counted as being under that, but I can't see it. Oh, but I'm literally above it. This segment that I'm in as well also has segment recon for a goodie. There we go. Wow, I'm getting like 49% of Silverloom is now done. I've got loads of Silverloom today. If I head upwards a square this way, it's a level 3 mechanical scale wreckage. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Is it above me or below me? Where's the thing? There it is. I think what I'm looking for is in there. I 
You know what, Sand Carrot? I'm going to try and take you out of mechs. I hope the Mr. Zedum doesn't get me. I'm going to hit 50%. Going in. Blossom Dance. Wanna fire a few rounds off later? Same when we come! That's 50% for Silverlum. And I got a Mighty Probe G40. And Zenum got very close to me, so that sucks. Right, uh, our goal was quite far that way, to be fair. I mean, the harder segment recons are the tyrants, to be fair. They suck. Oh, God. Yeah, of course you're doing that. Uh. Uh oh. You want to bring it? Then bring it. I think we're going to have to fight this thing. I hope that no one aggroes anything like Yelv. Mainly Yelv. Can I just take it and run? I can't even remember. You got hit straight away. This thing hurts. I'm going to wait to use that. Wow. Wow. I can't take it. I've got to fight him to get it. But then this guy's camping? Alright, finish me off. Because I'm not going to live this. But that guy's just going around. Oh, man. Oh, no. Why are you there? <laughs> I mean, I can't kill you either, which sucks. Is there multiple bits of this actually? Or does this just require all three bits? Oh great, it requires all three bits. So I don't necessarily have to get that one? Is there, an, is there more than three? Nice noises around here, in there. It looks to me that that's the chopper. Look, that's the level five mechanical chopper. Oh, hello, level fifty-one. Come over there. It sounds like there's a guy behind me as well. I guess I'd have to analyze this movement and then see what I can attack. Oh god, there's one behind me. What the- WHAT?! <laughs> what is this place?!
Quick, gank him! I think something bad's about to happen, guys. I tried my best. Okay, so no one has a scale. <laughs> Apart from me now. So it's the key that I've got to get them to get out of their scales when things start to go a certain way. Or is it just that I've got to be really quiet? Look at that stiff way of walking. He seems to see by... Well, he doesn't see it here, right? So, we're... we're, we're plan two. <laughs> plan two is a success. He engaged brain and did a thing. And now he lived. Good results for one and all, right? <laughs> you should have done that in the first place. But luckily I didn't break my scales, it's fine. I mean... Uh, it's fortunate that seemingly whenever you break your scale, it doesn't actually mean anything for the NPCs. Only you? Because every time you do that, you go to look at their scales. Who is who's who was there? Arena was there, and they still got full insurance. So they're good. Well, what I'm supposed to do is I was supposed to sneak up on it. I was supposed to go in scales are blazing. I was like, oh, why'd you do that blackout here? We attack. We were fine. We were gonna we we're gonna beat it. We were gonna beat the worm. I need the experience. <laughs> I want the experience. I want to get fancy weapon. Brand new sword, please. <laughs> Already man coming yet. Yeah. More cash has. Always appreciated. Did you hear? There's still a quest for me to do here. Off we go. Lara! Mara! Hi. I got the stuff. Oh, you're back. You were quick, don't you? Can I see what you found out there? Copy wreckage, engine wreckage, zoo fog wreckage. Hmm, this is the cockpit block. Here's the engine. This looks like part of the drive system, but maybe not. What is this thing? Ah, oh, strange. So, so strange. Aha! Wait, no. Sounds like you've got yourself a satisfied customer. You're pretty good, Saga. You and I could go places if you ever wanted to team up. Satisfaction guaranteed. What sort of satisfaction? Depends on what you're into. Oh, that's what that is. Of course. You should start me, you little maniac. I'm just getting the good part. Sorry, I just couldn't wrap my head around that. what this device was for, you know? But if you step back and stop thinking like a man on, it, it probably becomes fairly obvious, doesn't it? This reroutes any unused energy from the engine to boost the output of what I'm guessing is a weapon system, you see. Which is something that the manor just wouldn't ever think to do to do. Not that we couldn't, of course. It's just that none of us really care about weapons, right? Uh, at all? When it comes to making things fly or move fast, I don't think there are any better engineers in the entire galaxy. But if all you care about is breaking things, then you should probably talk to the ganglion, you know. 
as a technophile, it's all pretty captivating, isn't it? But, but when I think about what it's actually used for, I get a cold tingle down my back. Well, sure, but we're going to have to keep fighting these things and preferably winning. Sitting around talking about how amazing or distressing it is doesn't help as much. A fair point, I guess. I'll put a rush on and analyzing this salvage and apply it to upgrading and developing new weapons right away, alright? We Manon still aren't fans of weapons, but, well, it's in the time to be picky, I guess. So we'll do whatever we can. Our technological revolution is just getting started, but I hope that maybe you'll enjoy the next thing our labs cook up. Mission complete. After a little bit of tragedy. Good job there, Rutan Tan. Keep with the work. We need to put our fear weapons aside, don't you think? We must start making them so you humans can, can fight and bring peace to Mira. The Manon do not like to participate in acts of war, but we are also not fools, you know. And if we leave the ganglion to their ways, I imagine no one will ever be happy. I must thank you for teaching us this, Olazandri. And I must thank Lara too, because if I do not, I imagine you will likely hug me again. I nearly broke my, my, my bones last time. Such is the fear. Is it faster for me to warp up or take this elevator? That's what I'm wondering. Anyway, it's not long. Not long. Alright, there's a quest right nearby yet again. Everyone is aligned doing their thing. I guess I gotta find the murderess now. Too bad they couldn't tell me where that was. Flat free. I need higher. I mean, I guess everyone else is going up quite nicely, though. Jelva free. Very close. <laughs> Any lobsters up here? Alright, well, we come for the quest. Oh, yellow. Looks like Verda dropped her comm device, doesn't it? She seems to be wandering the commercial district saying bad things under her breath. Bad, bad things. Is there a quest? I do not know about. Still looking for lobsters. Well, next quest. Raleigh, uh, tell me more. Really? There you are, finally. I've been looking all over for you. With Corwin gone, you're the only one left who can help. Please help me save my team. Okay. I will agree to help. I want to know what happened, though. Right, sorry, I need to stay calm like you. Let me explain. That black scale has been targeting members of Corwin's team. Oh, the black scale. We've lost contact with a number of blades now who never make it back to the city. So Corwin put together a rescue team of himself for the lead and they left New LA a while ago. Now they've all gone dark as well and I'm the only member of the team left. I was pretty much panicking, but then I suddenly remembered you, Alexandri. Yeah. Complain that Grelly only remembers you when it's convenient. No, I appreciate it. Considering the skill you've displayed thus far, well, that's not something I'd easily forget. So please save my team, I beg you. Thirty k for winning. I knew you'd agree. Thank you. First, I need you to go help Peter's group. They went missing over in Oblivia. I'll get to work on pinpointing the others and call you as soon as I know more. Do you know anything? Well, over to Oblivia's Lake Basil. Basil. Basel. Homing in, Captain. Oh, I just got my Meranium. Oh, I made it. Great success. 60 lobsters. Is there any more lobsters up here? Uh, uh, uh. I thought it was all one. No, just other reds. Sixty's not bad though. Bing. Uh, <laughs> she's like, yeah, you could do it. I believe in you. All right. Two more investments, and we'll be there. Still a slot though. Right then, to Basel. By the way, the survey rate for absolutely everywhere is now sixty point five six percent. Essentially, basically keeping my, you know, 5% a session-ish, 5% and a bit. Because, of course, there's 10 sessions. 5% would be 
So I guess it's 6% a session is what we've been doing. An indigen nest that requires biological four. I do not have biological four. Is nearby. That would be a segment complete. Uh, Scale? Where's that? Where's the thing flying over me? I remember these things. This one's for you. Start big. Have it in Better stay the king gloves are on. Stop. Stop on this. I'm doing good. Your turn. This poor bat. I guess not so fearsome anymore. I said, there's no one further back here that's like reducing the high level. It's like right in the cave, isn't it? And that is Valyrian the Iron Cleaver. Do I not have a quest for you? Can I beat him? Good question. In a good position. Open fire. Melee mode. Maximum better safety. Oh, a long way. See what I, can I think. These are actually ground enemies? Which is kind of crazy. I don't mind trying to get the extra cash though. Poor guy, I want it! Stop finding things! I want to do it! He's angry now. Taking a claw off. Poor Valyrian. Just gonna say they're gonna be high levels, so I was hoping I'd get a big whack of experience, but it doesn't really seem like I did. I want some big, big experience. We want to reach level 50. That's what we need. Alright, I guess I'll go up and over this place. bit worried about going up somewhere like this because there's these floating islands. I mean, some of these look like they might have something on the Look over there! What the hell? These are eggs. I don't dare land there. Plus, it's level 4 that I need to be to like, do it, and I don't have that. So I'm a bit worried about them. That looks like it's going to be some kind of horrible... Like, nest? Ooh. Well, let's slowly, slowly lower ourselves. Are you our target? Probably not. I was like, is that? Wait. Same uniform, though. I'll take a hint and get off my tail already. I'm flat by the interest, but alien murder squads aren't my type. Oh, what are you doing here? Don't tell me you're never groupie. <laughs> what? <sighs> Agree just to keep things moving out. <laughs> Perfect. And you and the creeps farm, you can chug it out. Okay, Pete. Oh, now we're in scales. Oops. Why do I have ass spikes? It must be hard to sit down. I mean, it would help if I wasn't in the scale. And I wasn't next to the big giant. And everyone wasn't probably going to pull the big giant. Just saying. 
don't even know if that AOE is or not. We need to figure that out. Face full of bullets, I can do with my cool flippy moves. That's how you use a sniper rifle. I could have taken them on alone. Awesome, that seems pretty good, doesn't it? Now what are we doing? You get crushed by the giant. Now that would be unfortunate. I was just hiding behind you. Nice. That was amazing. I think I just become your groupie. Is that weird to say? But it's also weirdly randomly, well, weird, randomly bumming into you here. Were you working a job in Oblivion like me? Wait, Raleigh right, said you. Then you're the cavalry and you really saved my hide. What of that black skeleton? It tore my group apart. We didn't last a minute. We fell out of our scales and scat. I hightailed it for cover, but those groups just now are waiting for me. Okay, uh, other people. Where are they? It's so good of you to worry about them. Man, I really am going to start crushing on you here in a second. Anyway, I think I got most of the pew cleanup crew to follow me, so I'm hoping that I'll allow the others to make it out. Corn will probably ass kick a lot of us, but my policy for fights you can't win is to turn around and run like hell. It's a good policy. Oh, sure, now I get a call. It's probably my second in command. She's a real mother head about stuff. P come here, P if you're that. C uh, wait, is that Bates? Bates, hey, where are you, man? Rocky area with lots of lava. Damn, black scale won't let up. Peter, requiring location for evac. Where can't go the safe? Can't see way out. Help us, Peter. Peter, come in, Pete. Damn it, I can barely get a signal. Sounds like it's in Coldress. I've never been out there before. You know the lay of land, right? Can you steer base towards an escape? Never dead end. Current position can see Austin Castle from here, near Amerian Battlegrounds. I don't know where those actually are. I know the names. Was Orsim Castle? I don't know. Was that like the place where he fought the night puke? Need guidance to a back spot. Which direction? Head toward. Go west? I mean... But south... South would be towards me. West is... I don't know where they are. Like, are they... Are they up the top where the bodyguard quest was? That they could go west down the low level area? Or not? If not, then they go towards the horrible... Like, Bernie Fire Doom. So... I just go for the knop on caravan? I just... <laughs> Exit Silverloom. We come that way. So that goes with me. I don't know where they are, but they're not on the they're not on the east side of everything. Cause that's not where all, like those Marian background and all that. I've, I know the names. I just don't know where they are. I can say south because it's just towards me. So roger that. Head south then. I we lost the signal. I know it's a lot to ask, but please head to cold just to get him out of there. Base runs like an asthmatic turtle. If he falls behind even a little bit, it's all over. He's just a rookie, and there are tons of things I still have to show him. Don't let him die out there. Right, now I can look at the blooming map, which wouldn't let me do during all of this. Because the map's not up. Right, the Amerian Battleground is... Well, now the quest marker is actually at Drongo Caravan. Which is good, because that's where I wanted them to go towards. Is now the ruined city of Orsim is in the very center of the map. If they went west, they would have had to cross. Chill, Mr. Yawn, you're scaring the crap out of me. You lost my boat, my train of thought. <laughs> and the Amerian battleground is. So south is... Oh, if they went west from the Amerian Battleground, they would have ended up in the horrible place with that big wormy fig by the look of it. So that's not good. Well, let's just go and save them, hopefully.
Is it west towards the lower level beach? It depends. It's, if it's higher up, it's towards the lower level beach. 